everybody, and welcome back to Planners and Wine. My name is Meg. And I am Myra. Welcome back to a- another week. Yes, we are back, guys. And it is almost, I mean, the end. Well, it is the end of August. By the time y'all hear this, it's like one day left in this month. And I know we say this every month, but time really does fly by. And I just don't understand. It didn't used to go by this fast when I was young, I swear. Uh, I Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Mm-hmm. I really don't. Ashton was just two months old yesterday. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. I kind of feel like it slowed, like time was slowing down at the end of the month Mm -hmm. for me. I don't know if it was like that for you, but I I think it's the heat wave. Yeah, for sure. The heat has definitely made it super tough. And I, I was in like a false sense of, uh, of security because it it had got like kind of cool for like mm-hmm. a week or so, it was like the low was like in the 60s. The high was like in like the low 80s. It was like fabulous like a week or so ago. And I was like, oh, my God, we're going into fall. And then it was like hot again. And it's like, no. Summer said, just mm-hmm. kidding. <laughs> Bitch, you thought. <laughs> Literally. That's the slogan for summer. I feel like this happens every year. Like, I felt mm-hmm. like. I was like, okay, this year we're going to have a pretty mild summer because it wasn't any like major days where it was mm-hmm. like this hot. Mm-hmm. I legit um, walked outside and my glasses fogged up. Like yep. it was like opening up like an oven or something. It is wild. Same. Yeah. It hadn't been super, super hot here um, for like uh, consistent days. We got like one day here and there, but it had never been this hot consistently. Yeah. I'm sure our friends in like Texas are like, mm, it's it's been hot as hell. <laughs> And y'all can keep it. They can. It's supposed to be the perk of being up north, right? I don't have it's to deal with to be, that much heat. It's supposed to be. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. It's, yeah. It yeah, feels guys. like 102 outside. I know. Currently. It does. Is what, yeah, it, and wild. that doesn't feel great. It does no. not feel mm-hmm. great at all. But here we are, guys. Um... Let's go ahead and just kick off the show. We have some more like new releases as far as like 2024 lineups go. Um, Moxie Life put something on their Instagram stating that they were, we were going going to see um, their 2024 planners coming on September 28th. So, well, that's when it's going to launch. So maybe we might see it before then. They might put out some like sneak peeks or something like that. But their 2024 collection is launching on September 28th, which is great because it gives people plenty of time to get their planners before the new year. So that is awesome. I'm excited. Yes, uh, we're we're slowly creeping up. That's the thing that summer needs to leave because the fall release season is upon us. And I'm really, really excited for all of it. Me too. And also, I cannot believe I didn't mention this before we started, but um, Starbucks finally got on board and they have their PSL and their new like fall drink lineup out. Uh, I have already had two drinks. Myra, have you did you get a drink every day as well, or you? Only I was this more? close to, but again, mm-hmm. it was too hot, so I just <laughs> went with a pink drink. I was like, I need something refreshing. I can't. You even... could have got iced. Yeah, but it's ice. you know, you know, what I mean, yeah. like I'm fruity and refreshing. I see so you wanted was, something like really yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, that makes sense. That yeah, makes sense. but mm-hmm. I did get my uh, pumpkin cream cold brew the first day, and also. Mm-hmm. Starbucks get it together because y'all have been saying the 29th and y'all seen Duncan racking in a dough and pushed it up a week. So now <laughs> I'm on really last did. week's episode looking like a damn fool <laughs> staying the wrong day. Get it together. You know what? But I think our, thankfully our audience probably recognized that as well. Yeah. I didn't get any messages of saying like, oh guys, y'all hit the yeah. wrong date on the show. And it's like, no, they were saying the 29th and after we recorded it, they changed it to the 24th because like you said, they felt like they were getting left behind. I mean, Krispy mm-hmm. Kreme has had their stuff since legit, like, the second week of August. Yeah. Duncan has had their stuff. And so Starbucks is finally like, here y'all go. <laughs> Begrudgingly. Yeah. We don't have any Krispy Kreme. I think it's one, but it's, for, it's far from me. Mm. So do they sell coffee or just the donuts? No, they have coffee, too. I have personally okay. never gotten coffee from Krispy Kreme before okay. I don't know why but uh I kind of want to try their pumpkin stuff so I might have to try it because we're not right down the street from a Krispy Kreme 
So it's like PSL kind of vibe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yep. And Starbucks is big mad. (laughs) This is what we wait for every year. Mm -hmm. Stop playing. Just stop playing around. I mean, next year, Starbucks is probably going to come out like on August the 1st. They're going to try to beat everybody next Mm -hmm. year. Watch. They definitely are. They mm-hmm. definitely are. But they, y'all know Starbucks. We're going to be there regardless. I know. Give us we mid-August. Are. Mid-August is totally Everybody, fine. let's go with the 15th. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I have seen a few detractors saying that they are not team, you know, fall starts in August. They they want the, all the fall things to start in September. In a perfect world, I will be okay with that too. But the summer is so insufferable. And exhausting. I just, I'm just always so ready for it to end. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the quicker you bring on all the fall things, the better for me. If y'all don't like it, then y'all need to tell summer to get it together and be more enjoyable and not so hot. Also, it's just jobs, unbearable. Jobs should give a summer break, and then summer would be way better to t- tolerate. Yeah, that's the last time <laughs> I really cared about summers when I was in school. I know exactly. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, well, I guess Summer every day best. I can't be work from home, but. Ugh. Summer was the best of um, when you were yeah. in school. Mm-hmm. Yep. But not you know. No more. Mm-mm. Not no more. Uh, also, uh, Laurel Denise, they are coming out with their 2024 lineup very, 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 very soon. Um, we can't talk details yet because we are literally like right before. <laughs> the date that things Mm -hmm. can start to be talked about so we will talk details on probably on the next episode um but it's exciting i love i think it's gonna be really good i think everybody's gonna really like the offerings um and that is as much as we can really say without you know and just stay ready yeah (laughs) there we go stay ready like don't don't sleep on this one for real Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's it agreed agreed (laughs) yeah what do you think your was well, okay? Let's we'll finish talking about the different uh releases and then we'll go into mm-hmm. our uh predictions for our 2024 lineups. I think it's about that time. Thank you because I need some time yeah. to think about that. Yes, perfect, perfect. I'm always <laughs> reading your mind. So, Hobonichi has also their 31 days of reveals has finally come to an end mm-hmm. and finally. everything has been shown. and I actually think it's going to be available to order. Uh, really soon. Why don't I have the on date? the first? Is it the first of September? Yeah, I was just looking at this this morning. Um, because of course the anime stuff is the first of October, but it mm. is the first of September for everything else. Yes, I'm excited about that because they have a lot of cute new things, lots of cute new covers. They have a lavender cover, which I already know it's going to be mine. It is going to be mine. Who reps purple harder? Nobody. Nobody. Y'all Nobody. go up. <laughs> we do. For anybody on YouTube. The lavender is cute. The lavender we is cute. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it coming with all the purple things. <laughs> it's for sure going to be bought by the people who love purple. Literally. It's for sure. Yeah. Literally. The purple weeks is such pretty a good color. too. Did they add mm-hmm. a few new covers? I don't know. Like this silver kind of grayish cover looks new. Are you looking at that video I sent you? Yeah. Okay, let me look at that too. Because everything is like cycling I don't know through. how to pause it. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm waiting for the week's stuff to come up. Um, But yeah, everything is super cute. I love those anime covers. They look really, 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 really cool. Uh, I'm just mad that it's One Piece again. I mean, not mad. I just want mm-hmm. a different anime. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to get the purple one. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, that doesn't drop until October 1st, which is probably like, um, Halloween for us. Cause you know, they in the future. Girl, October 1st. No, it's like, it's like a day before here. Oh, not Halloween. The 30th uh, of September. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It's not 29. <laughs> no, that was a mistake. Okay. Myra, a mistake. Myra knows her calendar. Do not write in. <laughs> Do not write in. So yeah, it'll be the 30th. Cause September is a 30 month, 30 day yes. month. So yeah, I saw a cover. Um, you they have it? a week's cover with cats on it. I'm a cat mom. I'm gonna just say that, and I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm a cat mom now, people. 
at Meg's got a plan because <laughs> don't get it confused. I think some people still can't get our voices together. I know. How weird is that? <laughs> yeah, that's how so weird wild. is that? Yeah. I forget that all the time. But yeah. Oh my God. The cat cover is so cute. It's like a teal cover with all these different colors. God, I cat? wish I could pause it. Oh, I can pause it. <gasps> that is cute. I'm so excited. I'm that is so cute. I ain't, I ain't going to hold you. That is cute. So cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. I didn't even realize until literally just now. Because I don't even think I looked at that thing. I mean, and why is this the format that they're showing everything? Like, this isn't. Because it could fit all in a carousel. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) (laughs) That is definitely true. Um, I'm checking out this website. On the Hobonichi, okay, you can see the full lineup on the Hobonichi uh, website. It's like 1101.com. So you can literally see everything like laid out, which is way better than um, <laughs> this Instagram post we were looking at. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, so cute. And I don't know if this it. is new, but now, like, so on the Hobonichi website, it used to be that you couldn't, at least I couldn't see the uh, the amounts in, like, um, USD, but now I can see all the amount in USD. Yeah, I think that was a recent change. Okay, yeah, because I'm used to seeing, like, 5,000, you know, JPN or whatever. So it's good to actually yeah. be able to see the price price that it's going to be for us. Yeah. Does it give you that like notice like we ship to the U.S. kind of thing when you first get there? I think the so. Yeah. Okay. I'm making sure it's the right one because I got on a different website. But um, okay. but yeah. Anything? Yeah. Yeah. I can see it now. Thank um, you. I know. Alexa was working overdrive when it was in. <laughs> Who was mm-hmm. in Japanese? Mm-hmm. Me trying to figure out how much I'm spending. Girl, right. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. So I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Hobonichi. Thank you. Oh, um, y'all, this lavender color is so pretty. It's called Violet. Oh my gosh. It is absolutely gorgeous. The inside is like a cream. I would say it is so good. Uh, it's so good. The cover? Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't think I've seen the inside of it. For it to be you cream. On? Yes, you have to click on it. Okay, yeah, I see what you're talking about. Because it's, so it's kind of on the lo- the pin loops too. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. I keep scrolling down so I can see the weeks. Yeah, guys, make sure y'all go to the Hobonichi website so you can see everything. Um, They have a couple of things from last year. They also have these A6... Wait a minute. What it they have like a hardcover Hobonichi cousin A6. No way. Yes. <laughs> the cat is on it. Okay. The cat is on it. The cat is on it. Oh, I see. I, How do you know it's hardcover? Because look at the because the cover looks like well, I don't know if it's like oh, hard, yeah, this hard, is hard. But, yeah. I, yeah, it looks like the week's covers, you know. Yeah. Like it's the same material, but it's an A6. And they have a few of these. They product photos are always so good too. Okay, see now I got a bone to pick with Hobonichi because it y'all did this whole thirty one days of reveals and this type of thing got lost in that. Yeah, I it's did like not you can't figure that. out. Yeah, no. I think I would prefer if they did like okay, let's do it by sides or by you know mm-hmm. type of planner, and here you see everything, and then accessories because that could have been like a week worth totally agree stuff. yeah totally agree 30 days and much. they have the the a5 hobonichi weeks has these uh like not the weeks but the hobonichi cousin they have the covers for those too like the hard covers oh oh and just fyi like the japanese sure. version is what's available september 1st okay, english gotcha. is, ver- is november 1st so Are you sure? i don't really that's what it, it says when I click on it. It says oh. start of sales Japanese edition September 1st. For English everything? English edition is November 1st. At least for the cat one. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> I just don't see that. I see um, September start of sales September 1st at 11 a.m. Japan time. I don't see... Like when you click version. on it to get all the additional yeah. photos? Mm-hmm. 
You don't see that? Mm-mm. I see the A5 is available on the first. Maybe it's just the one I'm clicking on. Because I'm on the cat weeks. Um, it is, okay, it doesn't say, it doesn't differentiate between. So it must be different between things. Them. Oh, okay. So maybe like certain ones. Yeah. Y'all, sorry, we, we shopping. Yeah, I'm yeah, so excited. And um, yes, say it's September 1st. Okay. But that A6 one had different times. So basically, go to Hobonichi and make sure what mm-hmm. you want is going to be available on the day. So you I can see, be ready. Yep. I see what you're saying now because I just went yeah. back to the A6 cat one. Oh my God, it's so cute. <laughs> I am in love with the stylish gray uh, weeks. Stylish gray? Hold on, let me see. Because I feel oh, like they haven't good. had this gray before. No. And you know, I'm they in haven't. my like, you know, dark Slytherin era. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> like, Snape will have this. He would. He He totally would. I so, agree. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get this. I just hate the yellow paper. It's so noticeable when you have white paper. Uh, I know, <laughs> but then when you start using it, you get used to it, and it's yeah, not it's as not noticeable. Deal, yeah. yeah, I really like the uh, pale blue green uh, weeks. That color is just so pretty. Pale blue green. They have a forest green one too. Did you see that one? Oh, that's good too. Mm-hmm. But that's that's one of the ones that don't stay open very well. Is that the harder keep that ones? in mind? It's like they're called smooth. You say where it says smooth. Oh, Weak, smooth, oh forest green. Yeah. Those so, smooth yeah, me... ones don't stay open uh great on their own. The hard ones do though, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Well, that made the decision for me. I guess I'm getting stylish gray. The yeah. um the pale blue green is cute. So cute. <laughs> this is Y'all... your color too, though. Mm-hmm. I love that color. Yeah, I think um, this is going to be... It's like a, a mix. Mm-hmm. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, no. I was just about to say, this is definitely going to be a repeat of last year where we're both going to have, like, several Hobonichi weeks. Oh, yeah. I might get one just to, like, put some more um, Harry Potter fabric on. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and I still use that little thing. Not as, go. you know, often, but I love it. It's so cute. It's Hobonichi so cute, but- weeks are so cute. They're so good. And y'all, I think the most exciting thing about this is these like book bound cousins. Like these are so, th- this is like really the main thing that's different because if y'all are familiar with the Hobonichi um, cousin planners, like they usually come with like a cream cover or whatever. And you put them inside one of their other like cover, like a sleeve or whatever, or an agenda. But these, like you don't even necessarily have to do that. Because the outside cover is just so cute and just aesthetically mm-hmm. pleasing. I'm shook. I'm shook if. I am shook if. I'm excited. Yeah, just don't do 31 days. No more. Don't do Mm-mm. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got to do that. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. But, okay. So, this good thing that we had this conversation. Now we can talk about our 2024 lineups and, like, what total shambles they're probably in. Well... Uh, (laughs) um i mean i still have the oristale dated uh Mm -hmm. weekly complete on the way i think that's still gonna land in the lineup okay um y'all know notions that girl she's here to stay Mm -hmm. um i don't know i did get something for sterling ink too i don't think it was a week so I can't mm-hmm. even remember what I ordered. So, you know, we got to play around with that. Um, definitely getting a week's. Mm-hmm. Have you ever gotten a five-year journal from Hobonichi? I have not from Hobonichi, but I got one just like randomly from Amazon in like 2020. I just have a hard time keeping up with mine. I have the A6 one from Hobonichi mm-hmm. and it just doesn't open that well for me to like write on it and it's you Mm. know so i haven't really kept up with it so now i'm thinking should i get an a5 one if you think it'll be better you can always try it not me having a five-year journal every year (laughs) (laughs) with nothing in it if you combine them it's five years (laughs) (laughs) but yeah i think i might get that and i don't know um I've actually been using this uh, monthly um, happy planner mm-hmm. for like Ashton's school stuff. 
So oh, nice. I don't know if they have a cute monthly that comes out, maybe I get that for that. Mm-hmm. At this point, yeah. I'm just randomly saying stuff because I just have no fucking clue. <laughs> We're gonna report back when we get yeah. Twenty twenty four. This is just very early stages of our twenty twenty four lineups, but I'm with you. I Plus, also I kind of have... Joe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There we go. There we go. I mean, art so, has new stuff. They really do. They really do. Um, I don't know about my either. Like, I have been doing really well in the past two months with my um daily duo, my A five daily duo. So I'm thinking I'm going to, you know, daily duo. yeah. You didn't say her. You didn't she say that her. girl though. She be having it's me in the choco too. It's too late. You can't add her. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 it's fine. Um, yes, daily duo definitely in the true cho- choco, and then like especially if I'm able to like finish this six months, I'm gonna be so proud of myself. So it might still be on the lineup in the next book. I might just keep going with it because it has been working so well. I can decorate it when I want to. I can go minimal when I want to, and it's just been perfection. Um, I have a Sterling Ink weeks that will be here in the next, you know, month or so. Definitely want to play around with that. I'm 1000% getting a couple of Hobonichi weeks. I just have to. I just absolutely have to. Might get a Hobonichi um, A6 cousin. Because the thing I like about the A6 cousin is that it doesn't have the weekly pages. It just has the months and the days of the week. So I might try that again just because it's so cute. Um, What else? What else? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else I'm gonna do because I have a I have a life planner, like a vertical life planner that I could use. I have a plum paper vertical columns that I could use. I definitely need a work planner. And my the name plum is the, paper. That you forgot. Oh my god, man! <laughs> what am I supposed to do at this point? I have to like write down pros and cons. Because I just said, I, I wonder if I, I don't have it close to me, but mm-hmm. the plum paper is so good without color. Mm-hmm. It really it's is so good. It's a game changer. It's a total, total game changer. So uh, I also got an EC focus planner for work potentially, but I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm going to use it for work. Is. Huh? I Where just got this in like two days ago. You know that, that box? Yes. You know that box okay. sit. You didn't see it maybe before we zoomed in, but <laughs> that is what it, that is in there. Um, but also I'm just like I don't know because like in a work planner, I know I'm not gonna really be decorating this stuff. So I'm like, do I want something that's a little bit more fun? Do I want to maybe try another happy planner or something just to get like some color and some vibrancy? I don't know. A don't happy know. planner has been doing a good job from what I see. Mm-hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. They have been doing a good job of what we've been asking for for years, but mm-hmm. having colorful like tabs and covers, Dashboards but the guts, a, yeah, yes. be neutral. So yep. they really have, they really have. So I think I'm gonna go to like Michaels or Joanne soon and just to see. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to Joanne because my Joanne don't have nothing, but I'm going to my Michaels soon <laughs> to see if they have something like a you know a twenty like a July 2023 starts. So mm-hmm. I guess it's not technically in my 2024 lineup, but I don't know, y'all. We all over the place. Chime in. Let us know. Comment on this post. Um, what is your 2024 lineup looking like? I know y'all don't know either, but, it, you know. Just, you know, you know we're us. brainstorming. <laughs> there we you know, go. we're at the beginning <laughs> stages of this. One we thing are. I do miss, though, mm-hmm. I kind of miss recollections from Michaels. I'm really disappointed that they mm. let that go. Because those were cheap enough to kind of play around in. They were. They, that's very, very true. And they used to have some fun, like crafty, celestial, yeah. like very specific type planners. And that's very true. Yeah. yeah. Michaels, y'all fumbled the bag on that. Why did they y'all really drop fumbled. planners? Fumbled. Was it the was it the lawsuit? Did they stop making those? Well, th- that's still fumbling the bag. Cause that is still fumbling the bag. <laughs> They should have changed it just enough to not get yeah. sued, but we don't work for them. Yeah, that ain't uh, our business. It's not. It's not. But y'all, <laughs> I'm still like, I can't even move past this Hobonichi stuff. It looks so, it's so good. cute. And it's affordable. 
It is so affordable. And like I said, I'm just very happy that you can go to the website and see everything at one place instead of trying to like, you know, duck and move through their IG page and like figure out what is actually on there. Cause it's very hard to do that. So I'm glad yeah. to see everything in one place. Are you thinking of um oh they got a one piece uh weeks? But are you thinking of buying directly from Hovenichi West? Are you going to wait to see what um, Jet Pins get? Probably buy directly from them. Okay. Because actually, they ship very quickly. They do. So if you buy something from them, or like they'll tell you, like if they're closed because of like Thanksgiving or something like that, like Mm -hmm. they will tell you, like this was not going to ship to this date. Like they're very good about that. Um, So yeah, I'll probably buy directly from them. Exactly like you said, now that I don't have to use Siri and Google to try to figure out how much I'm paying. (laughs) That's helpful. (laughs) And you know, that's never stopped me. It has never stopped me. We figure it out still. Yeah. The only issue is like the shipping costs, but I mean, yes. I don't even think it's too terrible. No, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know. I've been thinking about having some type of agenda set up potentially because cloth and paper is really tempting me with some of their <sighs> new stuff. You know, my cart full. My cart is full. <laughs> Mine is as well. <laughs> Why are we like this? <laughs> Send help. JB, where you at? <laughs> I need, I do need another um notique. Mm-hmm. I got a mm-hmm. feeling she may come out with some different colors soon. Mm-hmm. So I do mm-hmm. need a notique because I need a black planner somewhere Period. in my life. Period. With the cloth and paper inserts. I don't know. I know. I know. This is not fair. It's too it's many not. options. It's not. There's too many options. So yeah, guys, we will keep uh, reporting back and let y'all know once we are better able to refine our 2024 lineups. But I really just have a feeling that we're just going to have a whole bunch of everything. Just know we're trying. We are. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> and we're here for you. We're here for moral support if you go through the same things that we go through as far as not being able to make up your mind. Like We, we get it. We totally get it. Yep. Planners Anonymous. Isn't that Planners. a brand? Perfect name. I think it is. Yeah. Because we we got we got a problem. But anyway, <laughs> on that note, so that we can pay for these problems, we're going to take a quick break for y'all to hear from our sponsors. And we will be right back. All right, y'all. So we are back. And, you know, it wouldn't be... Uh, we wouldn't be a good podcast or be good podcasters if we didn't talk about all the craziness that has been going on on TikTok this past week. We got to talk about the random man in Atlanta because <laughs> he is just the elephant in the room. Yeah. Uh, why couldn't mm-hmm. you just stay random, sir? Just stay random. Stay random. He made yep. the situation worse, but clearly he has a history of making situations worse. So I mean, it's what he does. It's w- literally it's what his he all, does. It's whole MO. So for anybody who might not be familiar, we will give you like the full background of the whole situation. Okay, you heard it here first. So there is this girl named Morgan. She started putting out videos on TikTok sometime in July, I want to say. Um, and she is just super, super funny. She has this cute little baby named Gigi. And she started referring to her baby daddy in the videos as the random man in Atlanta. She would be like, I got this baby from a random man in Atlanta. I got this shirt from Old Navy like that or whatever. And mm-hmm. it was just so funny and cute. And it really just like took off, right? Mm-hmm. So she obviously kept making her videos or whatever, you know, telling people about her life, her story, um, you know, how she got to this point of being a single mother, all of that stuff. And people, like I said, just found her super relatable, super funny, super cool, whatever. Never named this man, never mm-hmm. called this man out. We didn't know who the random man in Atlanta was. Like I said, he was referred to literally just as that, right? Mm-hmm. Well, this week... The random man in Atlanta, who also, by the way, is a bum baby daddy who does nothing to take care of him and Morgan's child and also has several other children with several other women, which is another thing that came up out of this. Like um, Morgan didn't know before she got pregnant that he had children with like multiple other women. I don't know how many kids she knew about or she just did not know about any, but I know she did not know the full scope 
of his yeah. uh, treachery, <laughs> for lack of better words. So he decided this week to go f- to not be the random man in Atlanta anymore. Um, he made a TikTok and he exposed himself as uh, Morgan's baby daddy. Um, tried to expose Morgan, tried to show text messages where she wanted to get back with him, tried to show that he had sent her money, but it's from a like a cash app card that he is using. That's the mo- that's the card he's sending money to, so he's really sending it to himself. Um, I know. <laughs> like that part sent me because he for real tried to run with I was sending her money and literally mm-hmm. text message after text message mm-hmm. of him being like, I'm using the card. Yep. Yep. Exactly. So it's your exactly. account, sir. It's like, his account. <laughs> exactly. And try to make, you know, excuse after excuse of I know I was wrong. I shouldn't have left my baby, but you don't have to stay in a relationship with somebody just because y'all uh got a baby together and I am a man and I'm taking care of my responsibilities, all of this crap. <sighs> this this man is just he the team version of Nick Cannon, like she's the team of the team of version of Nick Cannon. <laughs> I can't exactly. He's a hot I mess, <laughs> and so um, also what is came out of him, you know, exposing himself as some of the other baby mothers coming out of the woodwork too like we as far as we knew morgan didn't have any like contact with them or any type of relationships with them or anything like that but some of the other baby mamas have come out and basically just corroborated morgan's story that this man is a bum this man does not see his child this man does not take care of his child one of the baby mothers said his man has not seen his child in like six years um another one of the baby mamas said that when her her son has a has a brother by this man who's like eight days older than him morgan was pregnant at the same time it's another one of them and like I said, they just corroborated everything that corroborated everything that she has said about him. And I don't understand what his thought process was. And also, he makes claims of Morgan using him for clout. Like she not the one with 600,000 followers on TikTok as we're recording this. Probably 700,000 by the time y'all hear this. And I am She's definitely one of those followers. I am proudly. But like, sir, first of all, she's never mentioned your name. Mm-mm. There is a whole bunch of random men in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You came out to say something. So who's you Jason did. Cloud? Exactly. Exactly. Using Y'all. you for what? <laughs> Clearly you don't have nothing. And you don't provide nothing. What is she using you for? She and, she is doing what she's supposed to do mm-hmm. and taking her situation and making the bag out of it. I don't blame her at all. Mm-mm. And if honestly, she found this to be something she can make money to take care of her kid. Yeah, by all means. And she hasn't even really talked negatively about him because, like I said, one she never named who he was at all or gave anybody any type of identifying information about him besides just the random man in Atlanta. Um, and two. All she's been talking about is her experience and her truth. And it's facts that you left her 30 days after she had a C-section. It's facts that you don't take care of your child. It's facts that you don't see your child. If you don't like that, maybe you should change that instead of being mad at her and just reducing all these women to just being bitter baby mamas. And even Morgan was like, you damn right I'm bitter. You left me with a baby that you don't help with. At all. What? Who that's, wouldn't be bitter? Yeah. Nobody wants to be with you. See, he thinks people want to be with him, and that's why they're bitter. Why would any of these women want to be with you? They so you can too. so you can be a bad father in her in her house. Because you being there ain't gonna change nothing. You still gonna be a horrible father, probably. Yeah. It's it's wild. And they are it's all like, beautiful. They are they all beautiful are women. Very yep. gorgeous. And, mm-hmm. But he has like this kind of like God complex about him, which is really weird. It's so it's very weird. Mm-hmm. And it's it's interesting that he gets with these women when they are pretty young. Mm-hmm. Compared mm-hmm. to him, 
Yes, because apparently he was 30 when he met Morgan and she was only 19. And with a lot of these women, they were in their like late teens when they came across him. Now, granted, he might be the same age as a couple of them, but not yeah. all of them. Because some of them have pretty old kids, like eight years old or older with this man or whatever. So, yeah. Yeah. But even just, still, mm -hmm. you know, they were young at the time of getting pregnant. Mm -hmm. But, yep. It sucks. It really sucks. And it, it really sucks. sucks when you enter in such a permanent situation with somebody and you don't even have all the information. Because like I said, she shouldn't have been finding out about the other baby mamas and the other kids while she was pregnant. That's why you're like, I want to know what's his excuse for not being honest with any of these women and not telling them the full scope of his life. Why he got all these excuses for everything and they're just bitter. Like, what's your excuse for, for that? Like, what's your excuse of having multiple women pregnant by you at the same time? He ain't got nothing. Mm -mm. He's just trifling. Yeah, I don't... It's just weird. Him trying mm -hmm. to flip it. Like, he's the victim in this situation. I like, know. You got all these kids out here. They don't know one another. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, at the good thing out of the situation that maybe the, the moms can get together and, you know, have the kids kind of build some type of relationship. But they're all, you know, different states and stuff. So I don't know how that's all going to work. Mm -hmm. But... Like you just look a mess. You look a you mess. Look a mess. Mm -hmm. You should have mm -hmm. just stayed anonymous. Somebody and said a bitter baby daddy, and which is exactly what he is—a broke mm -hmm. bitter baby daddy. <laughs> Somebody said that they should have like a Real Housewives style reunion with all the baby mamas, <laughs> and I would pay to see it. I would. Too. He told them would. together, ladies, and raise your kids together. He, Morgan made a video today saying that like she wants all of them to get a neighborhood and just have houses. It's right next door. It's I mean, it's, together. It sounds like all of them are very logical, smart, you know, probably would get along women. Like, yes. I, it seems like all of them are in agreements that, like, it's not, you know, each other's fault. Like, he's the problem. Mm -hmm. He is the problem. It's him. Hi. That's very clear. That is very, 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 very clear. Yep. So yeah, guys, um, let us know if y'all have any questions. Uh, we will continue to drag this man for as long as he feels like he needs to have a, uh, <laughs> a but why did anybody even follow him? A few people have started following him on TikTok, but I'm assuming it's mostly to make fun of him because he turned off all his comments. <laughs> so he doesn't want anybody because I mean, there was just no way nobody was gonna ever be on your side. So like we don't care how you know, bitter you claim these people to be. Oh, it's like, his name is Hometown Hero. Sir. <laughs> this man crazy. And repopulating the world, like. Literally. One baby that looked just like him at a time. Because even Gigi, as beautiful as she is, she looked like she him. She do look like him. She do. Mm-hmm. His comments is back on and they tearing his ass up. As they should. Hometown Hero 1995. How old is this man? Uh, that would make him 28. So I late thought 20s. he was older than that. I thought he was in his 30s. Oh, maybe so. Wait, maybe my, maybe my math is not math. Or maybe he's not born in 95. Maybe he Yeah, he can't be 95. born in 95. Yeah, because he is supposed to be older than that. You're right. 95 is when uh, he got 1,500 mm -hmm. followers. 1,500 or 15,000? 1,500, 1,506. On on um on TikTok. TikTok. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know why I thought he had like nine thousand. Maybe that's how many people he followed. Unless he created a new page because it does have like an underscore. Mm, that's definitely possible. Does he have the videos where he's trying to drag Morgan and show their texts and stuff? Mm -hmm. mm. Let me see Did how many views he's got. Do you know he put up a picture of a TikTok where he showed his i his uh ID. And it showed, like, I guess maybe, like, an old ID. And it showed, like, where he's, like, originally from. And apparently it's not Atlanta. And so he was like, they're more going to go lying to y'all. Because actually, this is how he sound. Because actually, I'm not a random man from Atlanta. Because he wasn't born in Atlanta, apparently. So that means that she's a liar. Because she called him a random and man. And you said it was an ID? Yeah, he showed like his old ID that has like his hometown. I can't remember where it is, what it is, but it wasn't. Oh, uh, oh, 
O ID. Why would you have an yeah. O ID? You a scammer because when you get a new <laughs> ID, they take them. You can't have more than one ID. I he don't think scammer. they always did that. I don't think they always did that though. They didn't always take that. Them. Means some he's really different old. Are different. Some st- different states are different too. Because like they take them now in Tennessee, but they didn't always do that. Do they like so. poke a hole or something in it? Because I know with yeah, my passport, they would. It's they would poke a hole in it. In it. Yeah, okay. they would poke a hole. They'll do something to make it very obvious that it's expired. He is a scammer, though. He is a scammer. Because I mean, yeah. it still makes sense. Like if he, if she met you in Atlanta, and you probably told her you were from Atlanta, exactly. And she, and it, nobody really truly lives in Atlanta. Most people live in the outskirts, and they just say Atlanta. Girl, that man is, but that's supposed to be uh, that she's ooh. a liar, and everything else that she has said about him is a lie because he's actually not a random man from Atlanta. This is how crazy this fool is, y'all. Delusional, delusional, this fool is delusional. And I, you know what? I'm so glad that he has exposed himself so that the ladies of Atlanta or wherever the hell he lives now can can stay far away from him. Don't become baby mama number five. None of y'all can say y'all didn't know anymore. Not five. No, baby mama number eight, I mean. Baby mama number eight. Don't be that girl. Don't be that girl. Y'all know now. So his uh, bio says three sides to every story. I have to have a thousand followers to go live and I'll drop more receipts. And you not cloud chasing? My thing is if, if you're a good father, why do you feel like you need to prove that to the internet? Just be a dad. Just be a good dad. Do what you're supposed to do. Like, why are you? Why do you care so much if you're this great father? Like, are you trying to prove it to us? Or are you trying to prove it to yourself that you're not worthless? Why he put her cash app number out here? Is it hers? It's say Morgan, and I'm assuming probably her last name. Why would you do that? That's probably that cash app that he was sending money to that he had the car. He had the for. car too. Yeah. Now he. Yeah. Promo with her cash out because he got the card to it. And I bet people been sending her money too. Thinking so it's going to her. Yeah. So now you stealing from her <laughs> and your child. I hope she cut the card off. Can you do that? I don't know how cash out the cards work. And then apparently he has evaded getting put on child support by a couple of the baby mamas by, um, you know, having people lie for him saying that he doesn't live here. So I guess if they can't find you, they can't serve you. And if you don't have a job, they can't garnish your rate wages. So this is how he evades child support. Because he clearly don't have a job. That's why he makes so many TikToks in one day. Yep. I love Morgan videos, though. And I do, too. Gorgeous. And you know what? Actually, Morgan did say that he is a drug dealer or at least he was at some point and that would definitely add up to him putting 16 thousand giving her sixteen thousand dollars allegedly what he put on that cash app card and also him using cash app instead of like an actual bank account somebody call the police on this man and get him off yeah. the streets of america wasn't that flag because <laughs> okay. i mean any typical bank if you deposit anything over like ten thousand dollars they need to know where it came from and they're they're gonna hold it for a while too. I just I so just love interesting. The look nowadays the the popos be on TikTok and they be watching these damn fools videos and they'll use that evidence in court against you. We'll have an so update about, next week. He about to be the random man in prison. <laughs> he, why he talking? <laughs> he I hope it happened on live. I hope it happened on live. <laughs> he get arrested on TikTok live. <laughs> And you know somebody out there gonna record it. So he, he should have stayed random. He should have stayed random. How has he helped himself? And apparently, he, I think he got fifteen hundred followers. That's his only help. That's his only help. He has a um he he is living with one of the baby mamas, apparently. And Morgan said, hopefully we can save her. I hope y'all can save her. The as missing well. one? Mm-hmm. I probably like that's probably the one. Six or something is missing. Six or something like that. Mm-hmm. I think is that the one that uh her and Morgan was maybe pregnant at the same time or something like that? I think so. Girl, we here for you. 
reach out. We got resources to help you get away from this man, please. He probably out here telling her that they they lying on him. That's all they say. That's all they ever say. Oh, she lying. Oh, she just mad because I'm not with her. I'm with you. And oh, I'll, you, I, just everything. Just everything. And I'm not Don't saying that it. there's no such thing as a bitter baby mama. Those definitely exist. But the majority of women who are angry at the men they have children with are mad because you won't take care of your child and they have to do everything. And even if you're taking care of your child financially, that if you're not physically taking care of your child, if you're not there with them doing the day to day stuff, you you getting over because that, for, that all that responsibility falls on that one person, mm-hmm. and it's not fair that it just is you know automatically the woman by default. Yeah, it's just not so, fair. No, it's not fair. shout out to Nick because boy, in a way, I know he got a ton of money. But you cannot, and especially in the line of work he's in, there's no mm-hmm. way you're active in all those kids' life. You just physically cannot do it. You're he's definitely not active in all of them's daily life for sure. Yeah. Because a FaceTime call isn't active. Mm-mm. A random so. text is not active either. It's, you just you can't. Random man in Atlanta should have stayed random and we will keep y'all updated because I don't feel like this fool is going away anytime soon because I feel like he is just enjoying whatever attention he's getting, whether it's negative or positive. He doesn't care and he's going to do everything he can to just not take care of his kids, which he's also doing because he got all this time for TikTok and it's a child out there who ain't seen their daddy in six years for no reason. So crazy. No reason. That is so wild it's disgusting it is disgusting i can't even imagine not like voluntarily not being around my child and i mean you're responsible enough to not have seven of them either exactly but i mm, Mm, i don't know if he's into something illegal he might want to chill out he might he might Okay, something else cool that happened this week was, y'all, the baby daddy. This was a bad week to be a baby daddy, okay? Kiki Palmer. Um, <laughs> it is. Y'all are down. The baby da- daddies are down like a, like a thousand points this week. Y'all got to get it together. Get it together. Because Kiki Palmer just slam dunked. On her baby daddy, um, she is in Usher's new video called Boyfriend. Now, granted, mm-hmm. some people have been getting on Kiki Palmer and saying that this was too harsh or this was corny or whatever. Mm-hmm. I really believe that this song existed before that whole situation with mm-hmm. Usher happened. And I just think because of the situation, I think that is why she was in the video, but I just don't feel Absolutely. like they just wrote that song and recorded yeah, it, no. like, all this in the last like month. I just don't believe that, you know? Yeah. I like the song. The song is actually like catchy, but yeah, mm-hmm. I agree with you that that song has been in the works for a while. They probably was getting ready to do the video mm-hmm. or promo for it. And they were like, let's jump on this. And she yeah. was down. I love the nostalgia about the video too. No, it's so cute. Yeah, it, it was really cute and funny. Mm-hmm. But so cute. I don't know. Why people mad at Kiki for doing that? Um, well, I hadn't seen a lot of people. I mean, when I say okay. people, I should just say say men. Because no, I don't man. think any woman is mad at Kiki for doing <laughs> that. <laughs> Makes sense. But you know what? One interesting perspective that I did hear from Van on a higher learning, he was just like, because of the dynamics of the fact that Kiki is like this rich and famous person with this huge fan base and her baby daddy is like nobody, then it's kind of like, I don't know. I I think he kind of felt like she was like kind of sicking her fans on him through like keeping this situation going. But it's just like the fans was already on this man's neck because of what he did. Kiki didn't make that worse. You know what I'm saying? I I really, yeah. I know that's y'all podcast. <laughs> I, every time, I'm like, all right, let me hop back in. He says something that be like, I'm out. Like, because 
at the end of the day, I think most sane people are not mm-hmm. actively going after this uh, baby daddy. We don't care. We didn't no, we care, care when we Mm-mm. didn't know who he was. Mm-mm. We were just like, you out of pocket for saying that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he already got his dunk on. I don't think most people are going after him. I just think it's, no. it's like you kind of have to... Van always do this, like, let me give you the devil advocate. Like, you don't he, have to always do that. He always does it. And that's why I told you, I hate devil adv- devil's advocates. I don't think it's productive. Like, 99% of the time, yeah. I don't think it's productive. It, but, it's usually far out situations that probably yes. is not going to happen. Yes, that's true. That's true. But what I, what I will say is that, like, one... Van has 100% been on Kiki's side throughout this whole situation. He thought that the baby daddy was 1,000% wrong, and he's not, like, blaming Kiki for ruining their relationship like some of these idiot men out here are doing or whatever, right? I think what he was really just trying to say is just, like, I one of the really great things about Kiki's initial response is that she had no response. She just, like, ignored him, was just unbothered, and just just didn't seem to care and i feel like by her doing the video i think van is trying to say that like okay this shows that you care this shows that you was a little pressed by the situation and that you want to kind of get back on him and i think he's probably saying that like taking the high road especially with somebody that you have a child with is probably the more appropriate response now, i don't totally i see what he's saying i don't totally agree with that i think that once somebody plays you and plays in your face especially in public you are able to have whatever response you want and that's on that's mm-hmm. on that's their fault they shouldn't have did it like if her boyfriend didn't want the situation to be public he shouldn't have made it public and so it's not her fault for continuing to make it public so she's just making it public her she's just making it public. <laughs> <laughs> shout, shout out to jolly that's a good follow on uh tiktok if y'all really mm-hmm. like drama and stuff but yeah i mean i I can understand what he's saying, but mm-hmm. like I feel like black women particularly, we always have to take the higher road. And yes. you know, yes. And I think, in my opinion, I think she took the higher road. She got mm-hmm. a kiki out of it and she got a bag off of it. True, true, and true. And she got to be in an iconic Usher music video. And one of the cool things with that video, like she said, she would watch Usher videos as a kid and she never mm-hmm. wanted to be like the love interest. She wanted to be Usher in the video Mm -hmm. and that's why she is usher in this video and that is so cool to me with like the iconic like costumes and dance like that was so freaking cool so i definitely think people are reading too much into it like it's just a coincidence that this just so happened to be a song called boyfriend is the one she's involved in after that situation (laughs) boyfriend but you know it is what it is and we don't know what their co-parenting relationship is like I, for all we know she could have gotten in touch with him and been like hey I'm doing this video with Usher it's not boyfriend but I'm not trying to like shade you it's just it is what it is and he, he could have been like well, okay that's a that's a very this is the business that she's in funny so. outlook of it but yeah. it's possible yeah so yeah yeah, yeah. I, I love how that that video was to like her not mm-hmm. being the love interest. And mm-hmm. I, I don't feel like it was a love interest to Usher too. They was just having fun yeah. together. You they know? was having fun. Yeah. And Usher looks so good. That man does Why not he age. He feels so fine. He does not age. Mm. Yes, Usher. I would have <laughs> been in your video too. <laughs> but anyway yeah but I, I don't know i guess one more thing i say about van and how you're learning like sometimes him and rachel do get on my nerves and it's like i i listen to their podcast and i go back to it because i feel like it gives a healthy amount of of devil's advocate without going too far that's why i can tolerate it and why i enjoy it. and most of the time i'm on their side for a lot of the things they're saying it's just mm-hmm. kind of like these Every once in a while, they'll be doing the devil's advocate and it'll just be like crazy. And I'll be like, really, y'all? Because sometimes, to me, it's not always Van. Sometimes it's even Rachel because I find Rachel to be pretty conservative when it comes to certain things. So, not the things that, that, not the things that matter. Not the conserv- not conservative oh, okay. things that actually matter. <laughs> I was like, are you trying not to have me no. listen to this show? <laughs> <laughs> not conservative to things that matter. She's not conservative when it comes to like racism, homophobia, transphobia, things like that. But um, yeah, you know, it is what it is. The main thing that I've disagreed with Rachel about recently was her take on uh Harry and Megan. Now I they pissed me off with their thoughts on Harry and Megan to the point that I stopped listening to that. Pretty episode. sure that mm-hmm. that's the last time. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, and I uh-uh. think one of y'all may have sent it to me or something, or we, mm-hmm. you know, had a conversation about it. And I went to listen to it. But yeah, shout out yeah. to them. Mm-hmm. I love the podcast. I do like the podcast, and I, I'm I'm still listening to it. But yeah, it's a it's a it's a good podcast overall. But I don't agree with them all the time. So it is what it is. Which I mean, you know, you don't agree mm-hmm. with everybody a hundred percent of the time. So right. Right. Y'all, Myra is learning that a lot of the things that I am entertained by are not perfect and are not great. <laughs> so this podcast is one. Big Brother is another. I'm like, Myra, it's just a part of it. It's just a part of it. You got to just get over it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's because I think like this is like Big Brother to you is like what Drag Race is to me. Because like mm-hmm. if I have a friend like watch Drag Race for the first time, they kind of point out some like problematic stuff that's going around yeah. around the fandom, and I'm just like, it's just a part of it. Just ignore it. Exactly. Because <laughs> like I know I'm side ass some of the stuff that's going on on Big Brother. Like Girl, it's 2023. It's a problematic. Ten years phase. from now, we're gonna look back at that and be like, Ugh. it's a problematic phase for yeah. sure. And you know what? Higher learning is a, a slightly problematic fave as well. So we all got them. <laughs> we all do got them. Yeah, we all definitely got them. <laughs> okay. Something cool that came out over the last couple of days is the trailer for Love is Blind Um, After the Altar. It comes out on September the 1st. The mm-hmm. after the altar for this last crazy season of Love is Blind. And something that really stuck out to me from the trailer is that we see both Marshall and Jackie. I don't recall seeing Josh, Jackie's boyfriend, in the trailer, though. Maybe I just missed him, but I don't remember seeing him in the trailer. I feel like somebody in our Facebook group said uh, Josh was going to be there, too. Okay. That's going to be interesting to see if they... Because uh, how the trailer is edited... It looks like Jackie and Marshall have some type of um, conversation. Obviously, we know that, you know, the editors can get really fancy and show mm-hmm. some stuff just to make it seem like something happened and not necessarily happen. But if they have some type of conversation and we finally get to see them be able to, like, talk about what everything that happened face to face, not that sham of reunion that we watched, I will be very happy. And I think this is a worthwhile watch if we get to see that. <sighs> I was just still rooting for the Browns, and uh, I forget Zach's last name. I don't know his last name either, but just Zach and Bliss. I'm rooting for them Zach as well. And Bliss. Mm-hmm. They're so cute. They're they so are cute. cute. They are cute. Um, what about Kwame and Chelsea? Are we rooting for them? Girl, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I truly think. They give me industry plan. Like they give me, we're just doing this because we have a bunch of brand deals. It's giving Instagram couple. She's like, like I just I just don't feel the love mm. when it comes to them. Like it That's, gives manufactured. See, I think Chelsea loves him. Chelsea I would love a brick if it would well, marry her. Some people are loving. <laughs> <laughs> no shade i just that's just about and obviously this is only like five oh percent of their life that i am seeing so i don't know mm-hmm. them they probably truly are in love but it's just the vibe that i was getting from her is just she wants to be married she don't care who yeah yeah she did really want to be married that's it she didn't care who. but to be fair i think there's a lot of people like that that exactly. doesn't mean that that's they don't have easily good marriages <laughs> But that doesn't mean they don't have a good marriage. <laughs> I, it could work because it, it could be work. a business partnership. I mean, at the end of the it day, marriage is a contract. It's, mm-hmm. it's a business, you know. Yeah. Maybe it could just be that and it just works for them, but yep. we'll see. But I'm excited about this um, after the altar to see what happens on it. And the new season of Love is Wine is supposed to be coming out sometime in September as well. I think like towards the end of September. and. I don't know if we're going to be able to top this past season, but I will give it a try. Oh, Beans come I back too? I will give it a try. Hmm? I was looking at this trailer. Beans is back. Who is Beans? <laughs> <laughs> what is the girl know. name? What's her name? <laughs> I don't know her name. I just know Beans. That's out. 
<laughs> Irina? Was it Irina or something? I think like so. That? that sounds right. That sounds right. Dang. Oh, the mean girls. The mean girls the will mean girls, be back. Because yeah. the other one, the blonde will was in it too. Um I wonder um, are they friends? I, oh, oh my god, we gotta see them together. Be. Yeah, they they better not be. I just mm-hmm. can't watch that back and think and you know try to build a relationship with you. That's no, wild. even if you and the guy aren't together anymore, like she yeah. was just so uh-uh. It was their behavior, weird. their behavior yeah. got so overshadowed at the end because of Jackie. Like mm-hmm. they really, really got lucky because they were absolutely deplorable. Like I have never disliked people on a reality show so much so quickly. It was literally so like, much. just one episode just flipped the whole script on them because they were just so mean. Mm. But yeah, y'all. Let us know if y'all are tuning in to the After the Altar or the new season. I think it's going to be really good. So um, do you know yeah. if it's like episodic or is it just one one thing? I don't know. Okay. We'll see. I mean, mm-hmm. we'll see. Yeah, I'm not sure. We will definitely find out. Um, so the Bachelorette charity season has ended. She chose Dotson. I'm gonna be real honest with y'all. I, I fell off. Not because it wasn't a good season, but because this whole month of my life has just been insane. And I have just really had no time for television. Um, but I did kind of keep up with it here and there through like TikTok and stuff. Um, so I'm very happy for charity. Um, and Dotton, because she is with a gorgeous black man, a beautiful black couple. Love that for them. Um, yeah, the first darker skin, like final couple. Love that. Yeah. In 2023. See, th- uh, again, Myra, this is I a know, just phase. ignore it. Just okay. Ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah. They have the Golden Bachelor is coming out in a couple of weeks. Bachelor Paradise is starting in a couple of weeks. For some reason, they made the decision to have both of these shows go on at the same time on the same night. They will be on Thursday nights. Um, the Golden Bachelor will be an hour and then Bachelor in Paradise for two hours. And I'm trying to figure out who about to sit there for three hours and watch all this bachelor content in one night. Because I don't have it in me. So which one comes first? Because I'm wondering if they think it, they're hoping to get the piggyback ratings. You know what I mean? See, like, I, well, I think I'm pretty sure. Okay, I I don't know for sure, but I think the Golden Bachelor is first. That would make more sense to me, even though um, most people are going to be tuning in because of Bachelor in Paradise, because that's what we know, that's what we're familiar with. But the Golden Bachelor is only an hour, and Bachelor in Paradise is two hours, and I just don't mm-hmm. see a lot of people sitting through two hours of Bachelor in Paradise and then still staying on for the brand new Golden Bachelor. I think it just makes more sense to have the Golden Bachelor be first, but I'm not sure for sure which one is first yeah because i know a lot of um that's a that's you know that's an experience um (laughs) because i I know a lot of shows do that because i think back when there was a lot of like marvel tv shows Mm -hmm. on regular network tv they would do that where they'll have like one that's doing really good but Mm -hmm. these shows will be like a half an hour you know Mm -hmm. well they did it um for like Back in the day when we had, you know, Scandal, Grey's Anatomy, and How's Good, mm-hmm. How to Get Away with Murder, like all three of those back to back on Thursday nights, I would sit in, sit down for three hours. Yeah, see, that's different. That's but that was, different yeah. that was a different time. Yeah, that was a different time. Exactly. <laughs> that was peak exactly. Twitter time too. To like, girl, basically watch it with the rest of the world. Peak. Yeah. Literally peak. So, but yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know what they was thinking. I think they had to do this because probably football or something. Um, they probably don't have another, a lot of time for like programming because of that. But three hours in one night, child, Lord. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. Mm-mm. So yeah, I, I mean, if it's back. good enough, I'm sure people will it's do it. Be, it just it's not gonna be good uh, well. It's a reality TV. You know what I'm saying? Like reality TV can be really good, but it can only be like so good. That's how I feel like. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll report back. I'm probably not going to be watching all that in one night, though. I'll probably watch one, whichever one is first, and then watch the next one like the next day or something like that. That's probably all I have the bandwidth for. That's a lot. 
Well, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Yep. Last thing before we wrap up, uh, we finally have Trump. Trump set a record. Okay. He is the first president, f- former sitting whatever, to have a mugshot. Yay! <laughs> so, yeah. And it's a hilarious mugshot at that. They said one take. I mean, most yep. shots are one take, you know, but. Yep. Yep. The you get the thing, same treatment. The same treatment, which I love that for Georgia. Y'all did something right. Kudos. <laughs> the funniest thing about this, though, is when, like in the information on his booking, is that they actually let this man either verbalize or write down, I don't know how this is done, that he was 6'3 and only 215 pounds. Fuck it. And I'm trying to back body shame, nothing like that. But that is just not even realistic. Maybe and that's I, the last time he checked. So like 20 years ago. Because ain't no way. Because people, because this has become a trending thing online that men who are actually... 6'3 and 215 pounds have been showing themselves or they've been showing like football players, whatever athletes who are 6'3, 215, and they don't look nothing like Trump. Yeah, athlete is not fair because, you know, they they weight is mostly muscle. But That is fair, though. No, it's fair. (laughs) (laughs) It is fair because it ain't no way. It wouldn't matter. (laughs) Yeah, either way. That is not correct. I cannot believe they let him lie like that. I mean, that's what you put on your license. They go by the honor system. Nobody is like weighing you in at the DMV. So maybe that's just what it is. Just let them say it. That's so funny. (laughs) You know what? That reminds me of a TikTok. Uh, This guy on TikTok, I can't remember his like TikTok name, but his real name is like Andrew and he's a lawyer and he is so, so hilarious. And he like has like the best, craziest vocabulary, whatever. (laughs) And he said that he was at the DMV one day and the lady asked him like his height and weight and he told her his weight and she like added 15 pounds like she like said it out <laughs> like I think he said like like 170 and she like said 185 <laughs> see that's that was wrong doing Trumps. that's who needed to be doing Trump somebody who was tired of the BS and was oh have to be God. like you are full of it you are full of it. So, yeah, it's some real people out here. We needed somebody like that doing his, but um, yeah, y'all, I know y'all don't seen the mugshot by now. It's everywhere. We're going to see it every single day until this election because this was just such a such a gift to the Biden campaign and the Democrats to be able to have Trump's mugshot everywhere and some of his extremely misguided followers as they tend to be like Marjorie Taylor Greene and some other people have decided to stand in solidarity with Trump and, and use that background and put their picture on it as like their mugshot to be in solidarity with their president. So that's been an interesting development. Out of this, th- this week in social media has been very ghetto. If y'all can't tell, it's a strike. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nobody got no other entertainment. Mm-mm. That's it. That's it. So yeah, y'all. Um, that's the show. <laughs> Myra, did you have anything else for the people? <laughs> I am blown and exhausted with the internet but um Mm -hmm. shout out to getting those mug shots but Mm -hmm. uh no definitely if you want to see our faces uh get the full experience Mm -hmm. all of our videos are on uh youtube they are a week behind Mm -hmm. um but you can you can still see us and watch us there and um Mm -hmm. yeah next week same time same time same place yep um check out our patreon plannersandwine.com or go to patreon.com slash plannersandwine. We are always doing some super fun things over there. Like tonight, um, we are doing our Facebook Live with our patrons that we do every single month. And we'll definitely probably be talking about the random man in Atlanta and the random man in prison, mm-hmm. aka Trump. So, I definitely yeah. think that's what's going to be talked about tonight. And I'm excited. 
I'm so excited. I'm so sorry for the people listening to this next Thursday because you missed out. But if I was you another watch one. the replay. And, and if there I was will always one. be another one. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Sorry time. But yeah, guys, thank y'all so much for listening again. Um, hope y'all have a great week and we will talk to y'all soon. Bye, guys. Hey, Grapevine. Thanks for listening to this week's episode. Planners and Wine is hosted by Megan P. and Myra P. and is edited by Jonathan F. We'd like to thank our Planners and Wine patrons for their continued support and engagement. With special thanks to Daniel M. and Lisa F., moderators of our Patreon-exclusive Facebook group. For more amazing content, please visit plannersandwine.com or find us on Patreon at patreon.com slash plannersandwine. You can also find us on all social media platforms at Planners and Wine.